Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. My name is Lynn White, mom of five, sharing all things homemaking and hopefully motherhood motivation. Honestly, motivation for anyone who may need it. I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm going to be cleaning my house after we got back from a very small getaway, Chris and I. My mom gave us a little bit of time in Orlando. She booked us a hotel. We were out there helping her. Um, well, Chris was leading worship and she got us a room and we were able to enjoy Disney Springs. Have you guys ever been to Orlando? And if so, where do you usually go? We've done the Magic Kingdom and we've done all of those places, but for adults, for us, um, excuse me, Disney Springs is definitely the place we like to go, mainly because we like to eat. And if you saw our vlog on our family channel I posted on Tuesday, you will see we basically ate our way through Disney Springs. I was so happy to get back home and get back to my regular lifestyle because whew, my stomach was not feeling good after all that food. I am taking care of some of the laundry that was left on my bed when we left. I'm going to start putting everything away, putting clothes away, and unpacking my bags. Let me know, do you guys unpack right away or do you wait a couple of days? I'm definitely one to unpack immediately. You say you'll be mine. We're gonna get out. One little quirk I will admit to having is if I am busy that day and don't get to making my bed immediately, I don't care if I'm about to get into the bed, I will make it completely. I don't know what it is. I don't like getting into the bed when the sheets are all messed up. I have to start fresh every single night. I want to see if you guys notice how I am folding these pillowcases. I lay both pillowcases on top of each other. That way, when I go and grab one, they are both there, neatly placed in the container. I've been walking down the street like an alien. They say time will heal, but I don't have patience. You packed your things, now we begin the erasing. I wanted to let you guys know if you didn't already see on my Instagram, I am starting a spring cleaning series this Sunday. I am very, very excited about it. I have got something lined up every single week to go through our house inside and out and get it ready for the spring as the season starts to change. I am also very excited because some of my dearest friends are going to be joining me on this series. You are going to see some of my favorite people and you are going to be filled with a ton of spring inspiration and motivation. There is going to be no area we don't touch and we are just going to get ready and just embrace the season. So I am so excited to be joining you guys and my friends in the season change and just Oh, I'm so ready for it. If you haven't yet already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you are notified when I upload the series. If you have not seen my bathroom organization video, I will try to tag that above. I did it quite some time ago and I've got these bins at Home Goods on the clearance rack. There was a little crack on the bottom, but you never see it and they have handled everything so, so well. So a little tip, if you go into the clearance section, don't quickly shy away from things with little dents and scratches because honestly, a lot of times they're just a little bit bruised if you will but they work perfectly and you can save a lot of money by scanning the clearance rack first
Moving into my bathroom, I am gonna start putting away any of my toiletries that I unpacked before I start wiping down the counters. I'm sharing with you my Beyond Mascara City Beauty Mascara. I love it, it is my new favorite, and it stays on all day. I'm not sure if it's waterproof, but it surely does not budge. Time to clean up everything. I'm going to use my bathroom cloth and my window cloth, both as you see from e-cloth and my thief spray that I made in my last video. I'm gonna spray all over the countertops, the sinks, and the mirrors. This is the perfect lineup. I love using these items together. You just use water for your cloths or just wipe with the cleaner. It is amazing. When you're using your kitchen cloth, your bath cloth, and any of the other ones really, you just wet with water and it does the work for you. You don't have to use any cleansers per se. I personally like the way the Thieves smells and it makes me feel extra good about putting it on my countertops. I know it's so good for the environment and also easy for me to breathe and I know it's a great disinfectant and cleanser so I use it but you do not have to use any product when you use e-cloths, you just wet them. On to my dresser. I'm going to use this pledge here. I know this is not considered non toxic, but when it comes to dusting, I really need to put something on there. And my e cloth duster was in the wash, so I am using this and I don't even feel bad about it. With all the dust that collects in my bedroom, it's okay to have balance and use what you need to use. You don't have to feel like you've gotta go on one side or the other. Use whatever makes you happy. I prefer to have a balance. I use all natural in a lot of ways, but sometimes you're gonna see me get some of that stuff out, the hard stuff, and that's okay too. We are not here to shame you or make you feel bad for whatever products you choose to use around your family because as the mama of your home, you know best. Feel like, oh. 
I noticed when I was dusting that the walls were so dusty as well, so I'm gonna add this to my lineup for spring cleaning, but I went ahead and took care of the spots that I could actually reach. Every time I fall, you got me safe and sound, safe and sound. We just do what we do, and don't joke about love, he's the one that I die for. Let me ask you guys, are you going to decorate your master bedroom for spring? I have been debating on whether I want to or not. Since getting rid of so much stuff and decor I no longer use in my home, I am just not really interested in purchasing a lot of stuff, but I have been feeling like I want to add some new pillow covers. Pillow covers are a super easy and affordable way to spice up or change up any room for the season without spending a lot of money. So I'm going to quickly show you guys this new vacuum that was gifted to me. I am very familiar with Auric. I have not tried this vacuum, so I'm going to give it a shot. Um, so first off, it's called the Auric Cordless Pod, and it comes with these little pods here. Let's take a look. So I think the purpose is you don't have to clean the dust. So you never handling it, you're never smelling it, you're never doing anything like that. This was gifted to me, so this is not sponsored. Give me what matters, that's what I wanna see. All right, here we go. I was really thankful that they reached out to me because you guys know my Dyson has just given up on me or I've given up on it or maybe the feeling beautiful, I don't know. So this comes at a really good time, especially with the renovations and stuff. There's just stuff everywhere and it's hard to um, sweep it, because you're basically sweeping the dust back in the air. Pod is in here, like I showed you, and this ex uh, expands when you use it. So you pop that out, there's your pod. You get a total of four additional pods, so five total, and it expands when you're cleaning, so you never have to touch the dust, smell it, it never ever gets back in the air. So that's the one thing that I have never seen this before, this type of technology. So that's a big deal because I have allergy and asthma. And even though you have a HEPA filter on your vacuums, you never know. They really, like, when you're cleaning them out, it's impossible for it to be dust free. It just is. That's why I like my water vacuum, and that's why I was interested in this. I hope you guys have enjoyed the information that I have given you on these vacuums. I feel like I have talked about vacuums with you guys so, so much, but with as much as I clean, it's kind of gonna happen. With my asthma and allergies, it is so important for me to have a good vacuum. And for you, I really wanna encourage you to do your due diligence and research any of the products I share with you, that other moms share with you, or that you see online. Um, There's so many reviews out there and you need to make an educated decision for you and your family. Are you looking for convenience? Are you looking for deep cleaning? Are you needing something that is is sensitive to your asthma or um, respiratory issues, whatever the case may be, please, 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 I want to urge you to be your own advocate. Research things, read as much information as you possibly can about any of these devices because what may work for one may not work for someone else. So definitely be your advocate and do your research. here I'm not really sure what it is Let me try to get closer right there so I'm gonna use a little bit of this it works pretty good and try to get this stain out 
Okay, we have to wait 30 seconds. So I'm gonna let that sit on here. Oh, it's a little bright on my face, sorry guys. I'm gonna let that sit on here and then I'm gonna scrub it out. I'm actually gonna have um, Stanley Steamer come out and do all the rugs and the carpets that we have in the house um, after the renovation is done. I'm still not really able to get the smell out of Noah's room. It's much, much better. You have to kind of look for the smell, but it's not 100%, so I think Stanley Steamer is the best option. That's what I've used in the past. I personally like um, the way they clean carpets, and it is allergy and asthma approved, so that's really awesome. So now 30 seconds is up. I'm going to start scrubbing this and see if it gets a stain out. So you just use the other side of here and just... The stain is completely out. This stuff works great. I actually heard about it from Mandy in the making and I, I can't recommend it enough. Okay, I wanna also say on the vacuum cleaner, it worked really well. I liked that when I initially pulled it out of the box, it definitely to the base of it or the main compartment felt the same weight as the Dyson. As I put the attachment on it and started using it, definitely lighter. I really like that. But the game changer is gonna be that I'm never gonna to have to empty a cartridge out. That's a big deal, especially if you struggle with asthma and allergies or whatever the case may be, you don't wanna inhale that stuff. And there's no way of avoiding it unless you use a water vacuum or something like this. So the pod stays in there. It lets you know when you need to change it out. It's flat at first and then it expands over time. What I will say is if you are looking for a convenient way to be cleaning your house more often um, or you have crumbs everywhere and you want something quick and easy, you really can't beat a cordless, honestly. Um, you, once you start using them, it's hard to go back. I'm gonna clean the toilet here. You guys asked me in one of my last videos what this was, and this is a Clorox toilet wand, and I really like it because it's disposable, and I felt like my toilet wand that's sitting back there was looking really nasty, and I think it was rusting. So I have enjoyed using this. It feels a little bit cleaner, and then I'm gonna wipe the toilet off with some Clorox wipes. On to cleaning the kitchen or whatever this mess is. Chris is trying to figure out why there is no water pressure under the sink and I'm gonna start rolling up any of the unused un or not needed underlayment and start tidying up this space. So thankful we had vinyl flooring put down there because there was a leak that we found and he is taking care of that so we have to dry out under the sink and the toe kick. So I open up the dishwasher and you can see my face. I am not happy. He actually just put the dishwasher in earlier that day when we got home from our trip and it was still full of dirty dishes. So gross. And you can see that there is absolutely no water pressure, but I am trying to make the best out of what I've got because I cannot handle these dishes any longer. trying to do dishes and there was no water coming out I did the best I could 
then I realized <laughs> Chris, the smart one, he thought maybe we had bad valves. No, the valves are fine and all the so I don't know what happened, but I lost audio, but basically we thought we had bad valves and he was getting ready to go buy new valves or a new sink and come to find out the whole time. It just needed a little bit of CLR to clean out all of the hard water. Here in Florida, we have incredibly hard water, so it works as good as new. You guys, in all honesty, I have called the county to come out and tell me why I have no water pressure on my at my sink. And all the while, it was the faucet. So, lesson learned for sure. And it is working so great now. I'm able to just like speed through these dishes. I feel like I'm already in a new kitchen because when you have really good water pressure when cleaning, like especially when you use a sprayer, ah, it is amazing. Like seriously, hashtag adulting when you're excited about some water pressure for your dishes. So I was able to fill up the entire dishwasher, get it started. You saw me roll out the mat and realized there was just too much for that. So I'm filling up the other side and I'm gonna have to put those in the dishwasher when it's done. So, wow, there is a lot of dishes. It is crazy when your kitchen is completely upside down. It is crazy how much like everything kind of gets disrupted usually I stay on top of the dishes and the kitchen never really gets too messy but with the way everything's been with the renovation I'm telling you I am falling so behind You guys see that little open square on the floor there that's the cutout for the new island i have never had an island before so i am so excited for it and i am so excited to be like sprucing the house up for spring will you guys let me know in the comments below is there anything specific that you're hoping to see in my spring series maybe um, refreshing gardens or outdoor spaces or decorating with pastel colors i don't know what the case may be if there's something specific you want me to clean, can you lo let me know in the comments below because that would be very helpful. I love how everything is coming together in this living room. If you've been here for a while, can you believe the change? I cannot wait to do the final home tour. He actually just walked in here and told me that we were done with the floors. Everything is done. The next thing we have to do are the baseboards. I actually ordered the um, countertops today and I'm so excited to show you guys. I show all of the like behind the scenes and very vlog style lifestyle on our other family channel so if you're looking for vlog style content that is where you are going to head over to and i will have that link in my description box but the house is coming together and it just makes me so excited It is day two and I'm gonna finish up the cleaning. It felt so good to be able to just be done last night and then start fresh in the morning. Sometimes, well in the past I have had you guys ask if we are able to clean all in one day or how do we do it or you may not get that luxury and the honest, <laughs> 
honest to goodness truth is I don't get that luxury. I don't have that much energy a lot of the times. Um, so it'll take me a span of a couple days. So please just be encouraged. There are many a YouTubers that will wear the same clothes for two days to make it look like we've cleaned um, just one long day and no, we don't it just takes us a couple of days and i know it surely does with me because being a mom and being a wife really needs to come first I'm gonna wipe down the toilet with a Clorox wipe. I used to use um, rags, old rags, that I would just throw in the wash, and I just don't want to do that right now, especially with everything being everywhere. And I don't know why, I just kinda of go through phases where that really grosses me out, and then times where I'm like, Ugh, bleach will kill whatever is on that rag, so I don't care. But right now, I'm kinda of in that phase where like, everybody's been sick, I would rather just wipe it and trash it. Hello laundry, you are always there my old friend. Isn't that the truth? I feel like laundry never ever stops, but I am so thankful to have laundry for my babies to do because that in itself is a blessing. So I've been trying to change my mentality in so many ways, even when it comes to this YouTube journey or being a wife or the responsibilities of my home instead of feeling completely overwhelmed and unappreciated, which I often get into that mindset. Let me just be very transparent with you. I wrestle with, you know, I just cleaned, they're messing it up, or I'm not as good as she is, or, you know, I think my kids deserve a better mom, or I'm never able to be on top of the house. My house isn't always clean. I mean, come on, you guys, we could go on and on, but the reality is, is we need to just stop and just take in where we are, even if this season you're in is super difficult. Please just try to be reflective in this time and think about what what I believe is God or whoever you believe or whatever you believe. What are, they, what, what are you trying to be taught in this season? Because I believe that even through trials, there will be triumph. And doesn't mean it's gonna be easy and it surely doesn't mean it's gonna be peaceful or pretty. But I am certain that if you're obedient in doing whatever you are called to do during this season, that there will be blessings in the end. And one thing I really want to say to you moms, that being a mother is a calling. Just like your husband may be called into ministry, just like your spouse may be called into some line of work, please, please, please know that being a homemaker with kids or no kids is a calling, it is a duty, and most of all, it is a sacrifice. So please be kind to yourself, love on yourself. Self-care is not selfish. It is something that needs to be done. You cannot pour out of an empty cup. And I want you to take time for yourself and realize that you are doing a great, great work. You know, you might not change the world, you know, individually, but you may be changing the world by the children you raise or the impact you have on others. So rest assured that you are here for a reason. You are worthy and you are loved. I saw the city passing by my window. Was in the crowd, but I felt so alone. Looked at my phone like every other second. My future was blurry and numb. A tunnel where there's no light. Oh, but then you came and sat right next to me. Your eyes, they glow. As you see, I am just tidying up the boys' room. I'm going to start putting away some clothes. One of you guys asked me where the little puppy is and you will see her pop in here very so soon. So keep your eyes on the screen. She was so cute. 
cannot wait to show you what she looks like. She has grown so much and I cannot believe how much I love her. I mean, just, I really cannot believe how much I love that dog. I will most likely be using my other vacuum for the carpeted areas. I really liked this for the hard surfaces, but I was trying to get in and out of here quickly, so I decided to use it and it worked just fine. I just want to remind you guys, if you are enjoying this video and you haven't yet already, would you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube family because when you are here, you are family and you mean so much to me and I would love to have you. Okay, so I want to show you this. I pulled the pot out. You know, it was little. That's right. It's a pod. He's a pod. And this is, yeah, it's a pod. And so obviously you see it fills up the canister. And when you're done and you're supposed to clean it out, you never, ever, ever come into contact with any of the dust. That's pretty darn cool. Onto my office here. I'm gonna start breaking down the box here and cleaning up all of the mess from pulling this vacuum out. Josiah was excited to help me and to use it, so he is gonna come in here and be my little helper. I will say that I like that there's no trigger to turn the vacuum on. It's just a dial on the back, which is great because with the other one, I felt like my hand would get very tired if I was vacuuming for a long time. I really love having my kids help me clean. When Noah gets in the mood, he is a great cleaner. Honestly, they all really are when they are up for it. But I am trying to let go of my perfection and just let them help. And you'll see that's what I do here. He helped me so much and then when he left, I was able to go behind him and clean up a little bit and he said he was done and he was tired. He even scraped up some of the um, drywall that had dripped on the floors here. He scraped that up for me so that was a great great help. We had the ceiling sprayed one time and we didn't love the way it came out. We have what you can call knockdown texture on our ceilings. So they came back last week and did it again and now it looks fantastic. Again, I cannot wait to show you what the kitchen is going to look like. So you guys make sure you stick around for that future video. We've got a neighbor friend coming in and looking at the progress. He also just redid his kitchen as well as our neighbor across the street. So it's kind of fun. All of us just talking about the things that we're doing and bouncing ideas off of each other. It's really been a lot of fun. And I told him that if we can't redo this house and make it more suitable for our family size that we would be moving. And he was like, uh-uh, no moving. We will help you renovate your house. I was really grateful for that. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you made it all the way to the end, I just 
really want to say thank you. It really means so much to me. You could be anywhere and you chose to spend time with me. That's a big deal in my book. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And those who come and show up for me every single week, I just, I love you all. And I just appreciate each and every one of you. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.